Okay, hello, my name is Andy Penman. I work for Quizdom. Uh, the purpose of this video is to show you a new piece of software that Quizdom have released called WizTeach. Now, WizTeach is this thing I'm, uh, I'm interacting with at the moment on my desktop. What is WizTeach? Well, WizTeach is a selection of tools, applications that teachers can use when they're presenting on their interactive whiteboard any interactive whiteboard alongside any piece of software so I guess at the moment we have a lot of teachers that are using interactive whiteboards um, they're also using lots of different a whole wealth of different uh, products to actually make the most of those whiteboards a lot of them being three Google Earth, Google Maps uh, big parts of the internet have fantastic educational resources Word, PowerPoint and anything you're using we can actually now integrate WizTeach alongside to actually enhance that learning experience for the for the, uh, the student. So it's all about interacting with what you've already got and doing it seamlessly. Um, so integration is going to be something you'll hear me talk about a fair bit over the next couple of minutes. So how is this working? How are you seeing me down here and how is this actually recording? I'll actually show you. With Teach, we'll pop this open. Uh, you'll see some capture tools. Uh, I can hit record and record my lesson at any point. Now this is something I can give back to the students or I can record for my own benefit. Now what I've been able to do here is actually hit the video device and what that will do is that will automatically key into my laptop's own camera but this could be a visualizer, a microscope um, that you're using to put some real quality video up onto the board to actually be the input for your lesson. Now the reason I'm showing myself here is that I'm able then to make it very clear that I'm using a tablet. This is the Quizdom tablet that's actually interacting with the desktop. Now as we go through here what I can do to show you these tools first and foremost I'll go to Google Maps and the reason we're going to Google Maps is because I want to show that this is St Kilda and this is where our office is in Melbourne uh, in Australia so to make that point a little bit finer I might come and circle that I might highlight it these are things that you'll see other applications do for interactive whiteboards but the unique part of WizTeach is the fact that I'm, when, I'm, when I'm done with this uh, page here I can either capture it and make that part of my lesson or I can actually just choose to move to another part of the internet or open up a completely different application and still keep my annotation. So we'll get rid of that for the moment. The reason that I'm showing uh, St Kilda City Hall here is that I want to perhaps set a challenge for my students to come up here and use the WizTeach um, bank of images to actually see if they can find one that compares to the town hall. So the reason I'm showing this is because this is quite impressive. Now most pieces of software use clip art, those kind of things. With WizTeach you'll actually, you'll actually find the images are very high in quality. Is one of Athens here. Manipulate it, stick it on your board. Uh, let's find one of Berlin. Let's bring that up, that's quite similar. Again, manipulate it. When you're done with it, exit it. Chuck it in the bin down the bottom there. These are all things that you can drag out and, uh, and use whenever. Okay, let's come out of, uh, of that and this. And what I might actually show you here is we'll get rid of our images. And I'm actually going to make the background a bit more solid so instead of showing my desktop we're going to go into a, a note page here I'm just going to get rid of this video here because I don't think we need it and I've just got this lovely cream background here and this is just to quickly show you very briefly some of the tools and applications we've got ready so for example one of the things we can go into is maths so if you're a maths teacher and you're looking for uh, tools that can really enhance your lesson let's actually bring some of these out here so uh, let's go into the numbers toolbar so teachers can grab this toolbar uh, if they're teaching number and they've got a wealth of kind of flash based things that they can manipulate, the students can manipulate to actually make their lesson a bit more interactive so I'll just show this just by creating a quick sum doing two digit numbers, uh, addition with single digit numbers stick it together, make your sum, WizTeach will do the rest okay and you can do that with any operation um, one of the particularly kind of difficult concepts I used to teach was fractions uh, bring out the fraction toolbar Let's see if we can help deal with these misconceptions and these difficult abstract concepts uh, using this WizTeach tool. So I'll just bring out three random fractions here. And what we might do is get the students up here to move them, put them in the right order of size. Now they might want to investigate this further and just drop the fraction into the pie chart tool. Uh, so let's make it a pie chart, make it really visual for them, and we can find out exactly which one's biggest. Okay, it's quite clearly uh, the quarter. Um, what we could have done as well is drop it into the fraction bar and done the same thing here. Now these are, these are resources that are just at the tips of your fingers. Bring them up at any point, get rid of them at any point. Um, okay, just to show you a couple of more examples. That, that was a bit of a primary school example. Let's go into the geometry toolbar. So I'm a geometry teacher. Um, 
I want something on my board to actually make my lessons a bit more appealing. Let's actually get a pentagon up here. We're looking at the angles of a pentagon. So when I get my pentagon up here, I've got a toolbar here that's just showing me that all the angles of the pentagon will equal 540 degrees. So what we can do is we can actually start offering the opportunity to manipulate this. So we've still got a pentagon, still equals 550 degrees. But obviously each angle is going to change the more we manipulate it and move it around. But this just might help me make my lesson point, my lesson objective, that a little bit clearer. You can see they're changing here and we can hide certain ones and ask for predictions. Get the students involved. Get them up here actually moving it away. And when we're, have, when we're done with this, let's stick it in the bin and, and away we go. So each kind of lesson area is going to be equipped with a WizTeach toolbar, uh, be it science, literacy. We've just got the maths and literacy ones on offer at the moment. And they're all flash based. They look good uh, and they're ready to go. Graphs and data. Very quickly uh, on this, I'll just show you. This is impressive. I'm uh, creating graphs with my class and we're talking about what we had for breakfast this morning. So let's actually take some information. Now one student had porridge. Boom. Um, 20 of them have been good and have had their fruit. And let's have a look here. Someone else has just had cereal here. I think we've got 15 for that. There we go. Bang. Now what WizTeach does immediately is just creates you a graph. Okay. It might be a bar chart. It might be a pie chart. It might be a scatter graph here or a line chart. Um, look at all this kind of wealth at, the, at your fingertips here. You're not having to do much. Get the students to put the input in there and let the technology do the rest. Now this, it's like an a la carte menu I suppose. That For every subject we're going to have um, uh, toolbar is ready to go. So just to finish off here, what I'll show you is actually how it can react or interact, sorry, with Quizdom, our response system. Um, so for example, I might get to the point where I might go into Quizdom here and say, right guys, I'm going to actually pose you a true or false question. Let's get the video back out. Uh, here we go, just to show you how they'd be doing this. So what they'll do is um, uh, with our true or false question, once we've posed that, um, they're going to actually respond on their response system. So this is Quizdom. Gets everyone in the class involved, records everything they do. They'll give their answer. Um, this person here will give their answer. We've got 66% in, but you know that's enough for us to take a snapshot. And then we've got we've got two people saying true. Now that's 100% getting it right. You know we might ask a question there. We're St Kilda in Melbourne or something that related to you. Um, the lesson at the start. So this is this is how it can interact with all of these different interactive devices that you're being shown. Visualizers, tablets, the response system, any piece of software that you might have out there. There you go, there's your snapshot. Now what you'll need to do to find out more about this is go onto the website wishteach.com um, and actually find out about inquiring about some of these products. Um, you'll see here it, it's, it's built to be toolbars and, and there's, there's tons out there for you to have a look at. Go and get a free download 30-day trial and tell us what you think.